Ah, you probably clicked on this video because of the title or the thumbnail. Who knows at this point? You know better than I am because I'm the one that's currently filming. Yes, I injured myself while playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I wish it was a paper cut from a sleeve. No, we broke a limb. Well, a bone, more specifically. Let's dive on into this injury bullshit, shall we? Destroy the ever living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can get to our goal. We only 50 away of 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta be careful how I use this hand because <laughs> let's get on into this little uh, injury story here. So I haven't told a Yu-Gi-Oh story time in a while and this is the most recent thing that happened to me. So I figured this would be a perfect way to have a little another story time session. So sit back, relax, grab your beer, grab your snack, or if you're playing the Modern Warfare 2 beta, just have me going on in the background with a pair of headphones on or something. Just, just relax. You don't even need to look at my sexy mug because I mean, it's sexy, but it's not that appealing. And I'm freshly shaven right on out of the shower. So anyways, enough of me stalling. <laughs> so if you did not watch my worst regional ever Sprite deck profile video, I really recommend that you go and watch that because that will give more context as to what I'm talking about with this because it you could almost consider this like a part two to that video, right? So what happened was that if you remember, even from my YouTube short that I posted with Valley D, shout out to our homie, he just got engaged. Really happy for you, brother. Um, both of us started 3-0. We were undefeated at this regional in Boca Raton, Florida. And I was feeling really good going into round four. I'm like three more wins, I get my invite. Like we're cruising along, we're kicking ass, taking names of Sprite. We roll into round four. And as I said in my deck profile, we had Sky Striker. Now, how I'll play Sky Striker when he's 4-0, I'll never know. Well, actually, I do know. He stalled for time and cheated all fucking day. That's exactly what he did. So, um, he fucking cheated. It, it is what it is. Really stalled for time more than anything. But regardless, um, we get to the point where, like I said in the video, 30 seconds left in time. And he says, oh, they call time. I'm like, no, we still have 32 seconds left. I look over the clock, says 32. I'm like, you know, keep on playing or I'm going to call a judge. So as I get ready to raise my hand, call a judge, he continues playing. So long story short, since I don't want to repeat myself from the last video, uh, you know, the previous one I was just talking about, uh, he gains 100 life points off of Kaina. So I'm trying to make a comeback. And with the hand that I've opened up with going second with Sprite, my hand was not optimal enough to where I could play through both a Widow Anchor and a DD Crow that he had. So even though I wasn't playing Red Resonator, it wasn't going to matter because I wasn't going to be able to get to the Red Resonator anyway. So for those who are saying if you would have just played Red Resonator, you would have won. Even though I wasn't playing Red Resonator on my side, it wouldn't have mattered. I still would have lost. So that happens. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm really quiet. Like, I'm just like, you know what? Good game, man. Whatever. I played through all three of your Mystic Minds game one. Like, I'm feeling kind of good about that. But I still lost to Sky Striker undefeated in round four, which is like, I should be playing Sprite or Tier the whole day. So, uh, Valley D and my dad walk up and my dad's like, Hey, how'd you do? And I'm like, I look up at him from the table I'm sitting at. I'm like, I lost in round four to Sky Striker. And I know I said not to look at the video, but just for a real quick second, just watch. Uh, I take my hand it's, I can't really bend this thumb all that much. And I make a fist, even that hurts just doing that. I make a fist and with an open hand, I go, because of fucking Kaina. Well, then right after I said that, I got fucking pissed. And I clenched my other hand and made a fist. And I start slamming my fist together. And I start like, you know how you can like grab a chair from underneath you and kind of like pick it up and move it? I start slamming that chair on the floor. And Valley D's telling me like, bro, calm down, calm down, whatever. And like, I just, I lost my shit because I knew that that Sky Striker player fucked me. And I was pissed that like my first loss had to come to Sky Striker at round four being undefeated. And Sky Striker player just kind of looks at me. He's like, He's like, shit, like, is, is this guy going to, like, deck me? And, like, I wasn't going to hurt the guy. Like, it wasn't a big deal. I was more pissed off myself. I was pissed off at him for fucking me. But I was more pissed off at the fact that it was out of my control and that I just lost when it really wasn't my fault. So, like, I'm telling my dad and Valley D, like, right there at the table, I'm like, I shouldn't have lost. Like, I have to get better. I feel like I could have done better. Like, I'm pissed at myself. Like, I shouldn't have lost in time to 100 life points higher than me, kinda. Like that That just shouldn't have happened. So 
uh, I was really just pissed at myself and just losing in time. Losing in time like that in general just feels really awful because you know, like if it came down to the metal, like the, the rubber hits the road sort of thing, you know that you're better than that player. And I had all the confidence in the world in myself for this event. I knew out of all of the meta players there, I was one of the best in the room, especially with Sprite. And I said in my deck profile, if I went against a Sprite mirror, I was beating them all day. Like I was sending them packing. I knew that. And I didn't play any Sprite at all that day. Now, should I have made a jackass of myself, broke my thumb in the process because when I slammed my fist together like that, I like what I thought was I popped my thumb out of place or something, but no, it's, it's pretty much like broken. It's not swollen or anything. Um, if you can tell on camera, um, so, but yet I can't really move it. Now, what did happen later was that I went out into like the hallway of the venue and I was able to like, as I'm like, kind of how I can like pop this thumb out while well, I was trying to do that with this thumb. Well, when I did that, I felt it go pop out of place. And then I hit it with the, like the, the bottom of my hand, like the, I guess the palm or whatever you call this area, I hit it and I felt pop and I popped it back into place and it hurt like a bitch. And I was like, ah! like it, it, it was bad. Like I was like, I was trying so hard not to squeal like a girl, but in my head, I was like, I thought I got hit with a nuclear bomb and like Call of Duty or some shit. It was bad. And so it hurt and it's been in pain. I've been barely able to move it since that day. And that deck profile I did the same day is like almost 14 days old. So yeah. It, it's it's been bad now really quick to kind of talk about like doctor wise or anything i'm still on medical leave from my full-time job so i don't have insurance so i can't afford to go to the doctor then have to come up with a story when the doctor asks me hey how did you do this to your thumb and then i gotta say oh i got pissed off while playing a children's card game <laughs> like we ain't doing that chief we ain't doing that so, like, it's it's not a big deal. I'm just going to let it heal. If I'm still having problems like a month out, then I'll go to the doctor. But from what I can tell, I can somewhat move it. Not really. Um, it's probably broken, man. Like, from what I can tell, it's broken. I've never had a broken bone before, at least, like, I guess to this extent. I feel like I've always had, like, sprains or tears or something, but, like, I've never broken a bone um, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was my first time with how pissed off I got. Now, to get to the more important question, Avery, are you a dumbass? Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, don't get pissed off at, at Yu-Gi-Oh! for any reason. Now, keep in mind, I've been playing this game competitively since 2008. 14 years we're talking. I'll be 26 in October, for so like 14, 15 years at this point. Now, I am proud of myself in the sense that this is only like the fourth time I've gotten really pissed off like that. Or no, excuse me. The third time I've ever gotten really pissed off like that. Fourth time overall I've ever gotten pissed about Yu-Gi-Oh. So after 14 years, like I think that that's not a terrible trade-off. Now, should you be getting pissed off at all? No. You should be being courteous to your opponent. You should not be being toxic. You shouldn't be like yelling at them saying, oh, you you cheated me. You screwed me out of this game. Like I remember years ago, like I would always talk about being a Mr. Salty bitch because round four of YCS Atlanta years ago, I was playing Chamber and that deck profile is actually still on the channel. And I remember talking about my round four opponent who I called a Mr. Salty bitch because he was getting salty as hell saying like, yeah, come on, Chamber and come on, let's see you beat me, whatever. And he started trying to rule shark me and getting all kinds of pissed off called a judge over saying I'm stalling. I'm like, I've literally just drawn for turn and shuffled my hand and you're saying I'm stalling. Judge ended up giving us both a draw and my opponent's like, I got cheated again. And like, he got all kinds of pissed off. I've actually told that story on the channel before in a Yu-Gi-Oh story time. If you just type in Yu-Gi-Oh story time, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, so yes, uh, the TLDR, the moral of that point is that I do feel like a dumbass. I feel like an idiot. It is still in pain. Uh, I cannot make a whole fist like, this is the most that I can do, and even then, that hurts pretty bad. Um, so, I, I, I'm just, I'm taking a break. And, and like, this is why I say, like, to not over, I guess, extend yourself when playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Take the time to take breaks 
whether it's because it's a tier zero format, whether it's because you don't like Mystic Mind like me, whether it's because you just don't like the format in general for whatever reason, like take the time to mess around with fun decks. Like I've been messing around with Crooked Cook Exodia because like, why not? If everyone's gonna be playing Mystic Mind, I might as well just join in on the fun and troll everyone into the end of this format. Like I'm messing around with Crystal Beast and like Conclave Control. Like I'm just messing around with fun concepts that maybe they'll be rogue, maybe they won't, but it's just fun concepts to mess around with. Again, should I have gotten pissed off like this? No, it it's not worth it in the grand scheme of things. If some cocksucker playing Sky Striker wants to stall for time and cheat me because he has to feel good about himself, that speaks a lot more to his character than to mine losing like a man and just being professional about it, you know? You hear people all the time say, if you have to cheat in a children's card game, then clearly you've got other things going on that are just basically hurting you. And like, I agree with that because it's like, if you're really going to have one, if you have to cheat in a card game just to like win and feel good about yourself, that should tell people right there that you're not a good player or as good as you say that you are, you know, like th there's a difference between using cheap cards like Mystic Mind, which you're just using all the cards that are legal to win. That's fine. And then stalling out the clock when there's 32 seconds on that thing and you're saying, oh, they just call time because the fucking judge came over the intercom and said something. And you're going to say that he called time like, bitch, fuck you. You know that they don't call time early. So it is what it is, man. I'll get it checked out in like another couple weeks. It's just with me being on medical leave almost a year now at this point, my full time job's just going to probably fucking fire me because they're going through a buyout and shit. So they'll probably just let me go. But because I'm on medical leave, I don't have any insurance. And for those of you who don't live in the United States, basically, if you have insurance, then like the insurance company covers like any sort of medical costs that you have. But I don't have any. So I would have to pay everything out of pocket. So who knows? I could go to the my primary care doctor for my thumb and it might be like a $500 copay that I have because I don't have any insurance. So you know, that's that. And I already have like a decent amount of bills because of my VHL, otherwise known as von Hippel-Lindau disease, cancer medication, or well, the medication itself, then also the bills for like going to Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida, and having all those doctor appointments, seeing those specialists. Yeah, I, I, I've been really tempted to start a Patreon to help pay for those bills. But with only having not even a thousand subscribers on the channel, I don't want to look like I'm just trying to get a quick buck out of my viewers and subscribers. That's just not you know, what I want to do. And if I do do a Patreon or like a PayPal donation link or something, it would be to just help pay for my medical bills and things. So, but as of right now, I'm okay. I'm surviving. It is what it is. But guys, I wanted you to hear the story and, and get a good laugh. Number one, that's always the most important thing. And number two, to take that step back whenever you need to and realize, look, this is a card game that we all enjoy playing. Some of us enjoy it more than others because we don't cheat or feel the need to cheat or print off proxies for a fucking remote duel that's not going to matter in like a month. So always remember it's about having fun. Don't be a dumbass and punch a wall or punch your hands together and like break your thumb or sprain it, whatever I did, and enjoy the game. Make friends along the way, you know, become, become a vendor, you know, work for a card shop, become a vendor, sell cards online, do collecting, you know. Things like that is what makes the game fun. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for all the support. And thank you so much for the support on the worst format video. I know that there were some hot takes in there. And not everybody agrees, but that's what's great about this channel and about the game. Is that we can agree to disagree. And we can still all hug it out and sing Kumbaya while we get to a 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.